And starting to the bottom left, starting in green, the hope for his team with a 2-0 already. It is Acer MMA. Very strong Terran, always a good haircut. Great games today against Protoss. Can he do it against Zerg as well? Going up against the player, starting to the top right. It is So Youngju. Youngju, as mentioned earlier, only one recorded game against Terran. He lost it with an 0-2 against Hart a month ago. So we don't have too much information about his playstyle. Yeah. MMA, on the other hand, we have a few things that we can say about him in this matchup in the Heart of the Swarm. Offline, of course, we're always focusing on the offline statistics here. We have him with uh, recorded 14 maps, and he won 11 of them, which leaves him with a 79% win ratio. He lost his recent match, his recent best of three to Scarlet with an 0-2, but before that he won against opponents like Ghost User, TLO, Smooth Red, Boom Boom, Check, and, uh, well, early on this year, DRG, Noxo, and Ragnarok. So let's see what MMA can do in his third game today. He's definitely the player with the momentum. Yeah. Uh, when you talk about losing to Scarlet, for example, um, Scarlet's a player that, of course, on the same team and practices with them a lot, so that could be just kind of one of those team things where you play weird strats. And but we'll see what happens as the, the game unfolds, because both players are going for very normal openings right now, and I expect that Young Jun is going to go for a timing. He's going to, you know, maybe he goes two base Muta, you know, two hatch Muta, something strange like that, or very quick Roach push, or even uh, one of these Baneling all-ins we've seen become more popular because people skip these tanks. What surprises me a little bit, to be quite frank, is that we see the command center on the low ground. This is a huge map. But if you're going up against a player like Yongjun, you don't have a lot of information. Like a lot of times you might be a bit concerned that there might be an early pool. What a lot of Terran players are doing is just getting the commands under the high ground so that even when they are facing a 6 or 7 pool, they are able to come off completely and withstand the pressure. But MMA has a lot of confidence. He says like, okay, this is a big map, you don't know where I start. And I doubt that you will just roll the dice and go for an attack like this. So we'll be fine getting the commands under low ground. So pretty good opening here for him. And the question, of course, now being when exactly is Yongju going to scout that and how will he react? Do we have a fast attack? Do we have a faster third base for him? Or how he'll we, uh, will he adapt to this? Yeah. That was, by the way, a perfect drone slide there. And with his drones, they mine the middles right as the hatchery finished. That was pretty cool. Um, also allows him to check, make sure there's no bunkering going on. Put Here's the vein order. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that translates to English, I have no idea, sorry, but in Germany if you have something like that it doesn't really matter, but it's cute to look on, it's like Punkt in der Beenorte. The point to be noted? No, that not, doesn't quite hit the mark, I think it comes from uh, um, gymnastics. Okay. Like you have several things that you're graded on in gymnastics as far as I know, and that's like the minor one. Okay. Yeah, okay, I see what I you're don't saying. know how exactly translate Oh, like kind of like a it, miscellaneous... Like, uh, can, uh, can, what's the word for here? It's, a, it's like a um, constellation point? I don't know. Yeah, not be... quite, but yeah. I, I don't know if it translates, but if it does, probably someone will know and will tweet at us at either Proxy Wolf or Caldor and let yeah. us know what the correct translation would be. I've never really heard it in English, so but I also have to admit that I never really paid attention to that. Um, yeah, that's... This is an interesting point to note. It's a... Yeah, sometimes it's just funny how language works. Yeah. There are a couple of things in, in German I feel that you can't really translate into English and at the same time there are a lot of jokes in English that you cannot possibly translate into German. So when you actually go to the cinema in Germany and you have like a movie that they dubbed and uh, some of those jokes, like sometimes, especially like a few years ago, like let's say like 10, 15 years ago, it was always funny to go to the movies because sometimes the guys who would translate the movies were apparently so bad that they didn't even know like lingos and anything <laughs> like it. So they would just translate it word by word. And then you listen to it and like, what? Huh? What did he just say? And why are people suddenly laughing? Like, I don't get that. And then you watch the English original and it's like, oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> Yeah, can, can definitely be some misconception oh there. Oh my god. Overlord here. That's a problem. Like, that should not happen. Especially anymore. because MMA is going for a big timing here with Hellions and Marines and Stim. He's got double reactors going up right now, triple barracks with 
uh, well, double reactor, one tech lab for the stem, and get a few marauders out and get the plus one with Hellions. This is very scary, especially if you're up against. I don't want to call Young Jun a, a, a novice player, but he just doesn't have a lot of experience. So he needs to make sure he doesn't panic against this because if you pull your drones the wrong way just once or your links go the wrong way, you yeah. might just die. One of the big problems that you have with the Overlord is you kind of have to scout. You have to find out something. And he was trying to sneak in to get a glimpse of the tech labs at least, or um, the add ons. But yeah, if your Overlord gets sniped. That's always And annoying. you don't see anything. That's even exactly. worse. He didn't see anything, and the Overlord got sniped. It's not as big of a deal as when it happens even earlier in the game, but it's still annoying. Like, yeah. the lava in this position doesn't really count, but if you get supply blocked because of that, which is actually the case for MMA right now. MMA was supply for, blocked for quite some time, has a couple of supply depots already lined up, so it's not the biggest issue, but yeah. it's something worth being on. Exactly. Um, nice Hellion creep denial here by MMA. He just continues to check the watchtower when the tumor is being made and comes over when it's appropriate to shut them down. It's one of those things, talking about the Overlord, this is a newer map, so it takes people a while to get adjusted. You know, something he should have done was just send the Overlord to the south where it couldn't really been sni it would be sniped, but he didn't know where his opponent spawned, so he didn't do that right away. And there's these little things add up and MMA really capitalized on that. MMA just capitalized on a lot of players' mistakes today. It's part of his success. The one thing that I have to say though is that MMA, of course, he's like gearing up heavily. But he also needs to do something, because he is still one base down. Oh, look at this sneaky move of the Hellions! Come around the backside, he is spotted and he decides to abandon the idea, but that could have been deadly. In fact, there were no links nearby. Nice overlock positioning here yeah. by that uh, red player. Really well done. MMA knows that he's spotted and he immediately goes for the afterburners, trying to get into the main base in time, but the Zerklings are already on their way, trying to just get into position, but the Marines are there, and Stim is done, if I'm not mistaken. And That's don't forget the Hellions! Line. Here uh -oh. they come! As soon as the Lings run to the main, he goes in. This is what MMA does. He distracts you he one place. See. He doesn't he see! He doesn't realize that he's gonna lose Overlords here as well. He's losing Ooh. way too many drones! He might lose his entire tech here. Oh my god! No Banelings. Spire is cancelled here, and MMA is trashing this game right now. He, he's gonna fight with the drones. Look at that this position. This is game over, maybe, if he targets the Bailey's Beautiful targets, oh and I God. think this is game. That is so much DPS. There's just nothing he can do. He can't defend. Look at this 81 supply against 103. That lair might go down. The pool is about to be destroyed. That oh means no God. more Zerlings. He doesn't have enough Zerlings as it is. The drones coming over here to fight or, or mine. Uh, and MMA is just sticking around a little bit longer here, and the choke point flies away. And still the attack at the third, the Widow Mine with the kills, the Marines are going to party, and they are partying hard here. There's no tech, I mean he can't make Mutas, he can't make Zerglings, this is game over. M Every Zergling you see is the last one you will see, and that's... He's on fire, call him butter because he's on a roll. A hundred supply against 60, MMA destroyed everything there. Oh god. This is unbelievably horrible for Jong-ho right now. I mean, the guy is just rebuilding his fire, he's rebuilding his spawning pool. He has nothing. Yeah, Youngju is dead here. I mean, he lost his only tech. He lost his spire and he lost his spawning pool. And MMA just had a field day. The only thing he had left was his Baneling Nest, but not enough Zerlings to use it with. This one might be a bit overzealous, but you know what? The Banelings aren't finished and... The Queens don't have energy. Yeah. Actually, I think this this is the nail in the coffin. He's going to kill the Banelings before they even connect. Oh, do you even split, bro? And hell yeah, he does. Queen's down. This is actually the second to last queen. The drones are falling here. And this is why I feel that this is a poor choice. Let's hang out Young Jun right now. Clearly some some nerve issues here. As soon as the drop came in the main base, he did not split his links and all of them there. Then didn't notice when his drones were attacked by Hellions. Just some novice mistakes here, and it, it shows. That was just, I mean, that was really well done by MMA, but Yongji, he panicked a little bit. He saw the medibacks, he saw them with the Overlord. He moved into the main base, but he neglected his natural, and he paid the LA for it. MMA now finds himself one win away from the all kill. He was predicting all kill in the chat earlier in lobby, and he's, he's almost there. He's almost there, one game. And this would be the second all kill in a row for Axiom Acer this season if he's able to do it. That was well done. I mean, let's not be too hard on Youngji here. The guy is devastated as you can see. Like, he's real, I mean, wow. But on the other hand, it's the first time that we have him here in the studio. It was the second recorded game against Terran for him. So don't be too harsh on him, guys. This is a new environment for him, and that was definitely not the easiest. If you are down or your team is down 0-2 and you go up against a player like MMA, it's like 
you're nervous as it is, you have a problem there, and he just looks at it, he's not happy with that game at all, and he can see it, so yeah. don't be too harsh on him. Yeah, I mean, he, 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 sometimes you have these games, everybody has them, Sanai has had this before, another player sitting on that oh, soul yeah. bench. He definitely had that game too. <laughs> yeah, MMA has had games like this, everybody's had games where yeah. the things just go a little bit wrong, you're stressed out. Sanai's game was on Akilon, on Akilon Waste. I will probably, that game will haunt me for a long time, and him too. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, we have to find out who the final soul player is, and it, for me it's got to be high, but there's yeah. nobody else on the bench who has the experience. It's It, it, it would have been innovation. I mean, the problem is he's on the wrong team now. You can argue about last, but I feel like if, I don't know. I think it has to be Hiva. If you play last now, I think last would have been the third player. Yeah, exactly. I think last would have been a better choice against Ome uh, than Ome, who's really good against the Zerg uh, matchup. And he's putting in a player who, yeah, you want to give somebody like that experience. You need to put him in the booth a few times because if you never do, then you're in a situation like Prime and you're too nervous to put them in the booth when your team's already down. So in that sense, he got a little bit more experience here, but I hope it didn't scare him too much because that was a that was a rough one. I mean, you could see he was devastated when he lost there. I think I know who is the most annoyed person in the entire studio right now. Who's that? Ryan. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Actually, I was like, I wonder what you're going to say here. <laughs> Ryan was the player in the last season who got the most wins. He got the, like a trophy for that. And he was just sitting on the edge of the, of the bench and be like, let me play, let me play. I like MMA, but lose the next game. I want to get a couple of wins. So far, Innovation got an all kill. MMA might get an all kill here, and if Ryung he does, is probably. I guess, I guess Ryung is just the next in line to get an all kill. He's got to be the starting player. Ryung is probably going to annoy the hell out of Crank and be like, "Coach, coach, coach! I want to go first. I want to go first." They're like, going to put. I don't know. We should put Hard out first. Hard out, Alicia, and he's like, "No, no, 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 no! What do I have to do? I do the dishes for a week." Well, it is Hyba, as expected, and he has he has a mountain to climb. He has to kill MMA, who's already taken out three players, who's on a roll. And then take out three more players, including potentially his former teammate, Innovation. This is not going to be easy. This is definitely not going to be easy. This is the best position, the best potential scenario for Team XMASA. Hyva has to go for the reverse all kill. Is he gonna pull it off? We are gonna find out after we are heading into a short break. And as soon as we come back, we have potentially the last game of the GSTL team match between XMASA and Soul. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys in a few.